My name is Ron Dorn, and I'm the coordinator and the builder of the GCU 113 course that fulfills the American institution's requirement and also the Constitution's requirement for teacher certification in Arizona. This presentation is to explain the assignments that you'll do on the landmark cases of the Supreme Court. The federal court system was explained in a previous lecture dealing with the Supreme Court at the top, but this diagram explains how the Supreme Court connects with all the other federal court systems, as well as how appeals from the highest state courts can go directly to the US Supreme Court. It's a complicated arrangement and it's evolved over time to put the Supreme Court literally in the supreme position of adjudicating the final outcome of cases and precedents. The reason why landmark cases of the Supreme Court are in this course is because of the proposal by ASU, approved by the Arizona Board of Regents, to have an American institution's requirement, where a component of this requirement is to explore landmark Supreme Court cases that have shaped law and society. The problem is, is that nobody really agrees on the core landmark cases. The American Bar Association lists the cases you see on the left. Then the Congressional Research Service and the Library of Congress compiled other cases. There is some overlap, but the West Coast Hotel Company versus Parrish in the Congressional Research Service list and the Brandenburg versus Ohio cases in the Congressional Research Service list is not in the American Bar Association. And it's also not in a list compiled by C-SPAN as an example of a media organization. And then if you try and look at things statistically in terms of Google uh, hits and the cases that are compiled about what Google hits consider landmark cases, the list includes other things as well. So what I've done here is to try and look at the overlap of as many different lists of landmark Supreme Court cases, but basically settle with the American Bar Association, but with important cases and other lists. Let me give you an example of a landmark case that everybody agrees upon, Marbury v. Madison. And this decision very early in the history of the United States established that the Supreme Court has what's called judicial review, that as part of its duties and power, it can evaluate the constitutionality of federal laws. This judicial review concept is not in the Constitution. So the very act of the Supreme Court judges may, deciding whether or not a law is constitutional or not was not in this was not in the US Constitution and it still is not in the US Constitution. So the Supreme Court has been grabbing power over time and it now has the ability to review laws, cases, prior decisions and it's a major check and balance against the legislative branch and the presidency. It's now a very powerful third branch of government. Another example of a landmark case, and one that gets overturned, was Plessy versus Ferguson in the very end of the 1800s. And this is a decision that allowed segregation and came up with the concept of separate, separate but equal, that you can have Blacks being not allowed into a white restaurant, not allowed into a white railroad car, having to be separate in the bus and separate in the public schools. Then, almost 100 years later after the Civil War, in a case of Brown versus the Board of Education of Topeka, it was a case about a little 10-year-old girl who was not allowed to attend her neighborhood school because she was Black. And she said that her 14th Amendment rights in the Equal Protection Clause had been violated and the Supreme Court agreed. And this stopped segregation in public schools, as well as other implications. 
Another example of a landmark Supreme Court case is Mapp v. Ohio, where Dalry Mapp was convicted of having obscene materials in her home, and she appealed the conviction saying the police had entered her house without a warrant and violated her rights. And the Supreme Court ruled that it's right and has now an exclusionary rule that excludes all evidence that's found by illegal police searches. Another example that you probably already know about because of movies and TV shows is Miranda v. Arizona, which is a compilation of a bunch of different cases where Ernesto Miranda was arrested for kidnapping and sexual assault and he signed a confession, including a statement that he had full knowledge of his legal rights. But he appealed saying he'd not received warning and he not received legal counsel guide in his decision to confess. And the Supreme Court agreed with Miranda, saying that all suspects must be forewarned that they have the right to remain silent, to be told that whatever they say may be used in court, that they have a right to an attorney being present, that an attorney will be provided if they cannot afford one, and that they can stop police questioning at any time. So these are examples of landmark cases. What will you do to earn points in three activities? Well, the first thing is when you look at the module about the Constitution and the Supreme Court and some of the core aspects of American institutions, there is a page called Landmark Supreme Court Cases Background Material. And you have to go to this page first and study in detail. That page is long and it provides you all the material you will need, the readings and examples to deal with and do well on the three quizzes. So the first thing you have to do is go to background materials, read the instructions, read the articles, take notes on them, and then be prepared to take the three quizzes. The first quiz is simple, just the basics. You read a very short article about cases and their synopsis listed by the American Bar Association as landmark cases. However, the ABA's page on landmark cases does not yet include the recent ruling Dobbs v. Jackson that overturned Roe v. Wade so that the second reading about that landmark case Dobson v. Jackson that overturned Roe v. Wade the question format is a mix of matching and multiple choice and there's no video presentations about quiz one quiz two or quiz three Unlike many of the other topics, I want you to read and dig in and take notes about this instead of simply take notes on a lecture. The second quiz makes you critically think about a comic. And you look at a whole bunch of different comics that have been designed to deal with the consequences to the decisions of landmark Supreme Court cases. And then you also do short readings about different cases where the short readings are the facts of the case, the question before the court and the conclusion. And the idea is for you to take notes on these cases and then for you to do a scavenger hunt, a mystery. You connect the comic to the readings you do and that's what the quiz is. The quiz is it gives you a comic and then four choices of explanations. And the question is, select the best explanation for the comic drawn in response to a U.S. Supreme Court decision. It's another way to force you to engage the material and have you own the concepts. The last activity regarding landmark Supreme Court cases involves overturning prior landmark cases. Just because one particular Supreme Court is ruled in a direction doesn't mean that the issue is settled. The Supreme Court can overturn an earlier decision and also the other two branches of government, Congress and the presidency, have tools at their disposal to overturn Supreme Court decisions. And you will read articles, four articles, about overturning landmark cases. Two of the articles I consider a little bit easy, short, 
And those are where four questions will come from, a big pool of questions about those two articles. And then the last question out of five will come from two other articles that are more depth and have greater detail. So in summary, there are three activities that task you with exploring landmark Supreme Court cases and their implication for American society and American laws. Have fun, dig in, and learn a lot.